Fit like a bee, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of City State 2. We've got a fair. We've got an actual fair. Well, we did have an actual fair. I think the fair brigade of uh, the fair department has dealt with it, which is pretty good. Power consumption exceeds production. Well, that is bad. We're only making 750 quid uh, plus. And we need to build another nuclear power plant. I built a couple of diesel generators here, but they are, yeah, they are not up to much uh, at all. Uh, I love the the fusion. Uh, what is this again? Yeah, the fusion power plant. Uh, but you need like a really good education and stuff for that, and we we just don't have it. So have another power plant, and what's just going to looming bankruptcy? Now there's not much left to do. There's a few areas to build over here. We'll make a nice area over here with the marina, etc. This bit is pretty much almost all done. I am going to build another school area and hospital and things in there. We need to fill that with trees to sort of get like a, a barrier so that it's uh, not totally polluted. But as you can see, we've got this haze and everything, and everything is smoggy. So, we've got a few policies to enact also, but we're going to get the houses built first because I literally need money to enact these new policies. So, we're going to go with light residential and this is going to be the, the, the sort of nice area of town. This is where the, the rich people are going to stay. Maybe not here because it's a bit close to the power consumption, but what I will do is I will add some trees and stuff. Now we need people to go in here and start paying taxes as soon as possible. Although, I'm not against maybe getting a couple of industries uh, down at this side as well. I said I wasn't going to do that because the map was getting smoggy, as we know. Uh, but I might have to do that. Now once we sort of move away from uh, this area here as well, so maybe from about here, We'll get some houses down here also. Uh, so let's have a look. We're at 1,461. Now the problem is you don't get that much money from uh, uh, building houses. Uh, unfortunately, that's okay though. We'll see what we can get. Uh, what's that? Yeah, I could maybe move this road back like one. Maybe move that out to... Mm, I want to do this whole street. I kind of do want to do that whole street. Now, we're going to have a row of houses going along here, right? And we're going to have a row of houses going along there. Now, if I can fit a road in here, you can fit a road in, yes. You can't then build at the other side because there's just not enough room. There's not enough room to get a building in there. That's okay. That's going to be fine. Uh, let's fill in this area. I do have uh, a little bit of need for commercial. Uh, so I'm going to add a little bit of commercial. Uh, what I want to do, right, is see what fits in here. Yeah, two houses fit in there. Two houses don't fit in there. That's a shame. So we'll get some parts and stuff in there. And then I'm going to do some light commercial along here for these people. Uh, yeah, so we'll get a park in there. That should be nice. We want to get the marinas in. How much money have I got? Uh, I think we're just going to scrape by. We should be okay. Uh, one does hope. <gasps> right, wait a minute. You will go where? Out into there, okay, but there's no road. There's no road. Out into there. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. We're sort of happy, happy with that. Uh, yeah, build you in there. I want you. So these are some nice houses that look on the river. Uh, some might say it's a flood potential. <laughs> I definitely would say that it is. Uh, but yeah, okay, flood potential. Oh no, you won't go in there. But you will sort of go there. Okay. 
Yeah, build a road out there. Hopefully I can still get my houses in here for these people. I can. Uh, these are going to be awkwardly sized again. Which is fine because I think I can move this road down. So I'm going to do that. Uh, so get rid of all that. Yeah, get rid of that as well. Uh, and go to roads, please. And thank you. Now, where is... Yeah, I can literally have this road go down here. That is fine. Uh, build that. Build that to there. Build that in there. Uh, so we've got our commercial is in. I was going to do some waterfront apartments. So we'll do some waterfront apartments. Uh, that's going to be just fine. But you guys are going to be that. Okay, now it's slightly too big. That's okay as well, though. Uh, how am I for money? 1,219. Woof. Uh, so we're sort of just probably not going to make it. I'd, uh, we're moving on a new area of the map, right? And I'm going to make it like a rural farming area. Uh, and I want that to be an actual thing. Now, I probably should place a school or something down here. No, I've got schools and stuff there. And quite frankly, I don't know what's going on with the schools, but no matter how many schools I place, uh, I just get the, the good old, yeah, capacity is that capacity, blah, 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 and it doesn't... Uh, no matter how many schools I place, because I've tested this out, uh, I can't... Well, that's sort of off the map, but hey-ho. Uh, wait, if it can't connect, uh oh, that could be bad. Now, I could maybe, possibly maybe, yeah, that's out on the war. Uh, right, what I can do is terraform this and flatten it out, right? So take that from there and go there, and then I should be able to get that road in. So the marina is connected. Because uh, it would look pretty dumb if it wasn't. Uh, right, a road down here. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just... But then you're not going to be able to get houses here. Yeah, this was poorly designed. However, again, I can move this road uh, down. That's not an issue. Uh, so, let's... Because we've got space on the beach. Who doesn't want a beachfront house? Which is great as long as the weather is nice. But you don't want waves and high seas. Literally crashing through your back door. So that could be interesting. Right, now I said I was going to move this. And move this I am. Right, so I am going to have to build one or two industries here and there. Just to offset... We're probably going to have to maybe uh, potentially bump up power again. I should be able to get some houses in here. Excellent. And I want some houses in here. And we're going to have a little bit of random odd space going around. Now the problem is I've got a few policies to enact. And most of the policies I have left to enact are expensive. It's going to cost me money. <laughs> Without any question. Now, I was going to save this space over here for residential. Uh, I'd love to see the homeless amount. But what I'm going to do is place medium and get that in there. That will generate us a bit of cash money. Uh, the industrial sector over here is completely done. And this area, I kind of want to throw some industrial, heavy industrial. Can you go, right, that is actually not that close to the airport. And I can get some in here as well. It's going to be dodgy for planes landing. Yeah, there you go. That's what you want when you go to your airport, a large industrial sector. 
but advanced manufacturing and whatever will all move into there and we'll all be super happy and it'll be great all right grab some industrial for there and grab some industrial at that side in fact keep it going I might delete these uh, it's not gonna be magically great for these people I'm gonna put paths in as well so get that path in there maybe should have done some trees and I'll maybe get some more houses in here as well now we had areas where we we're gonna put parks and paths in over here yeah I'll get a couple of parks in there this can get some path that runs through the middle because it's supposed to be a nice area and we shall make it so okay I am now up 984 bucks with that that ain't gonna be enough unfortunately and get a gazebo in there and yeah I've never managed to get wow well, education above like 60 uh, it says it seems like the game is uh, literally stopped registering the fact that we've been placed in high schools and stuff I don't know if that's maybe a bug or something I right, place that in there so that looks nice and I'm literally just looking for areas to sort of squeeze stuff in now do I actually want houses and stuff over here or do I want this to be a bit more manufacturing? The manufacturing has come way down. And there is demand for a lot of office space. I'm now up by a thousand. But as soon as I enact, I've been looking at the policies and they are, they are expensive. <laughs> expensive policies to enact. Right, I'm not gonna be able to get because there's no room at this side. Uh, I suppose I could get one little house in there. Who would want to live there? Don't know. Right, so we're at 1,388. Power is stable for the moment. Uh, I could probably get, yeah, you can get a few houses in there. Just remember, keep an eye on your power. Uh, I would like to upgrade some of these roads also. Yeah, you go to there then. And can I get another house in there? Yeah, who doesn't want a house underneath the freeway? Prime real estate. I can get you in there as well. And I can get another one in there as well. Oh yeah, I can get a few of these in. Okay, so we are going to do so. That will give us a tiny little bit more cash. Right, there we go. Right, so that is it. We've basically filled up all the space. We're not going to build over here. We're going to leave this a nice little blank beach area. Uh, these people are coming in here. We've got 3% unemployed, which was, is not that bad. It's not really a bad place to uh, end the city. And they're obviously wanting more office space, middle income housing. The low income housing, they're even wanting high income housing. Uh, I don't know what really decides that. Probably how good an area is. Uh, but yeah, we smoggy over here because there's a lot of industry. But I needed that to generate cash. And then we are good. Right, so let's go to the legislations. Let's start with economy first. Right, wage control. Uh, minimum wage right let's enact that it costs us absolutely nothing uh, economic stimulus incentives so I'd love to give tax reliefs and stuff uh, you know what we're gonna do no incentives because it cost us nothing right none of this increases all of this stays the same and the reason we're doing this is because we literally can't get any more industries or buildings commercial or industrial buildings on this map so it's not like we need to attract advanced manufacturing or office they actually do want space but there's no land left so we're gonna enact that 
The antitrust, right. Government approval required for large mergers. I think that should be a thing. Uh, dismantle monopolies and force fair competition fully. That would probably be a good one. Uh, but what gives us the most benefit? Nothing really. Uh, that gives us one point. Yeah, we don't want the companies to sort of do anything they want. Uh, but I think government approval for large mergers should be decent enough. Yeah, so we'll do that. So that, we should be able to, once you are able to check companies that are maybe buying over every single company, uh, you might be able to fix that. Yeah, see, this has gone way down. That's okay, though. Government. Uh, work safety regulations. Now, this is one for we want high safety standards. Again, it costs us money. And we should probably criminalize, criminalize safety violations. But I think this is what is the best one. 2.5, 0 0.5. Effect on pollution. Increase or decrease. See, that's minus one on pollution. So that could be good. So this is the best one, I think. Is it? Yeah, that gives us plus five. That gives us two. But this is the best one. I'm going to enact that one. So it's 914 bucks a month. Yep, so that has been taken out. Now, homeless. Uh, select random cities. Force them to provide shelter. No, let's provide health care, shelter, and daily meals. Now, as you can see, this cost 1,828. Now, it's extremely good. It gives us plus two points etc plus one point that's only 457 again we're going to be severely lacking in money here relying only on private initiatives that one's quite bad I'd love to provide this right so 1000 we'll enact that and see how much money we start to lose society right some of these criminal rehabilitation provide therapy so this gives us a little bit of education and stuff let's have a look at that right affirmative action nothing gives us money that is the that is the ultimate problem uh odd campaigns to promote diversity at work that seems pretty good uh, enforce quotes in government and public organizations no, that takes away from education and that, that. Right, is that everything? It is. So, were there none? Right, the student loans. Provide loans with below market grant scholarships to low income students. Uh, yeah, that's obviously the best one. But we're now 2,000 down, right? Vehicle emissions is one I'd like to do. Anti-corruption. I don't know how we we'll get these. Home prices skyrocket, yeah. Capital gains tax, offshore banking. We can't do these because we literally don't have enough citizens. National surveillance, student loans. One of these gave me like a crap ton of money. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Economy? Right, it's not that one. Wage control. Minimum wage. Uh, economic stimulus. No incentives. Foreign investment. Nah, none of that gives us money. Limited to 50 hours work. Antitrust, government approval required for large mergers. No, none of these give us money either. Was it something in society? No. So we're literally losing money and I don't know how you would bounce back from that. Maybe not enacting some of those policies. It might have been okay. I mean, all I need to do right is get a road so if I get a road that comes down here right 
and I go and stick some high density industrial into there. They'll come in and build there, right? And we should get some money from it. And I can do the same here. And that should give us enough money to do that, right? It looks like I can potentially get a commercial, oh, commercial building in there as well. And I might get some offices all down here as well. Because they will give us money also. Right, so do that. And, whoa. Right, you'll get three in there. And this is literally what we have to do. Now, I need to be careful because I'm reaching my power limit. Once the power limit is reached, it's game over. Right, can we scrape by? Can we get some money in, please? I mean, maybe changing some of those later policies that we did. Uh, I do sort of want to help the homeless. But yeah, this is a, these are real issues that real governments actually face. There we go, we're, we're plus money. We're back in the cash monies. Now, I'd love to let this build up for a time. Inflation is oh, continue to rise. Low-income households are struggling to find a place to live. Right, what I want to do as well is... Uh, where's my, the immigration center thing? You are... No. Ah, I need to build some stuff in there to make it look nice. Uh, government headquarters, so we could we could like do some fictitious jobs. Department of Commerce. No, where's my ah border control? Right, so maybe let's take that down to fifty percent. That'll be fine. I mean if I take that up, yeah, that gives me some money. Take that down to 50% at the moment. Uh, quality of life, plus 37, 14. Civil rights is minus 6. Developed countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just sort of looking for ways. The budget. Now, some of these are plus 5, right? So if I took that up, that gives me a bit more cash money. These guys are totally happy. These guys are plus 0. Uh, the property tax is always is, is always bad. Yeah, we can get more money from that. Total income is one hundred and eighty eight thousand. Expenses is one hundred and eighty three. Cash flow is plus seven grand. National contribution: a positive value will send a part of the city's income to the national treasury. A negative value will withdraw money from the national uh, the nation's national trend to finance the city. So that's good. So we are literally adding, I think, to that. Inflation is pretty good. We don't want to print money. We don't want to buy dollars. We're good. So what I think I want to do, hospitals are overflowing with patients. I think I've got like one of those that I can literally upgrade. Although I have not the slightest clue where it is on the map. Uh, no idea at all. <laughs> where is it? Where the hell am I? I think it's over this way. Right, uh, let's go over here. Right, I built a hospital in here, and I don't think I upgraded it or did anything to it. Right, you are there. I did upgrade it. It's at a B. So we've got slight overcrowding. Add some teachers for that. Student capacity, yeah, that's another one. The high school isn't changing either. Police station is good. Library is good. That is good. Yeah, some industries have built in there. I probably could get some more schools and stuff down here. We'll just check that all this is good. 
Yeah, all that is good. The high school, yep, you've been fully upgraded. What about a hospital? I mean, healthcare's at 87. Everyone's pretty good for healthcare. Nothing is in red. So I don't understand. Yeah. Now, the city's exceptional healthcare system is convincing, convincing new families to settle in. The conservatives, conservatives, conservatives congratulate the governor for his exemplary financial skills. The economy reaches full employment. Investor confidence at an all-time high. So we're getting some good reports there. So I'm quite happy. Now, all I wanted to do was let it run on for a while so that we could rack up a bit more cash here and then move some of that cash into where we're going for the next area. Safety, pretty good as well. They seem to be all happy with safety. Uh, water, yeah, everyone's got water. Power, hmm, we could be getting like brownouts. Power consumption exceeds. Now, I'm making plus five, six thousand, so I can pop on another generator for here. Just one will be fine. Uh, there we go. Power's down to 96, so everyone should be happy. Uh, education, so I don't understand these colours, right? Purple looks like it's good. This is all commercial. Yeah, there's nothing... I don't know what the, like, the good colour is supposed to be. Transport, I know, is bad. And pollution, I also know, is pretty bad as well. But this is just the first city. Inflation is continuing to rise. Right, so I went to go... First of all, what we'll do is... We'll save it, because this map is... This map is done. I don't know how you make these exceptionally cool pathways with the lighthouse. Even though we're sort of landlocked, we do have a river that runs through, and I want the lighthouse. I want it. I don't know how you get it, but I do want it. Right. I'm going to check Steam Workshop as well and see if there's any mods for this. Uh, right. How do I get back to the planetar... Ah, oh, it's up here. It's a liberal democracy, okay. Uh, is it not that? Back to Nation View, okay. So we want to build a new area. We want to build in a new area. We're happy with how Pluto was sort of running. We managed to get the money up. We managed to enact all the policies possible. I think you need, like, in order to get all the policies and all the buildings, etc., you need, like, a, 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 like, a, just a huge city, like a, like, just completely high-rise everything. But Pluto had a population of four, 473,000, which is phenomenal. Now, I want to go to a a sort of landlocked area and I want to do farming now there's a few now it looks a bit hilly over here it doesn't look too bad right there land for sale 200,000 I've got a 1.4 million I will take it so we'll buy this right new city no uh 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 Marsh. Oh. <laughs> New city. Roll the dice. Let me delete that. Uh, this is going to be Mars. It's going to be the red planet. So we've got Pluto, Mars. Uh, confirm. Right. How much do I want to stick in here? 200,000 balance. 90,000. Stick in 100. Transfer. Right, so we've got 190,000, right? I want to transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it takes it out of here. Okay, that's going to be fine. 290,000 to get started. That should well be enough. Uh, let's actually... Right, come out. Ah, push play, right? We'll load up Mars. We won't start building anything now. 
what we will do is we'll just have a look around and we'll see what we want to do. I, I kind of want to check out the terrain and stuff. So here's a brand new fresh map. Now it looks really nice. It's not going to stay that way because it's going to be basically farming with small rural communities. Excellent. That is going to be the plan. We are going to try and use solar power. Although the solar power does not give us a lot. Its capacity is 200. Even a, de a diesel generator has a capacity of 550. So yeah, these are not that great. Uh, are they? They are exceptionally more expensive as well. But they are going to provide us with less pollution. Now, if we go to industry, here's our farming zone. Now, I do believe that these can only be a certain size. Right, we can get quite large farms. So that's a, that's a fair amount of tiles there. But we won't build anything now. We'll get this done at the start of the, the next episode. So I am looking forward to starting a new region. I've got some ideas for doing like rural areas and stuff. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there is more you would like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. But I've been Danny Men. this has been City State 2, and I will catch you later.